Hi boys and girls, good morning. It is Wednesday. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our calendar. Our month is still April. A-P-R-I-L, April. And it is uh, springtime, that's our season. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna count. Just like we did yesterday, we're gonna do some counting on. So I'm gonna pick a number. I'm gonna start at 12 again, cause it's easy, it's the beginning of our week. And we're gonna count all the way to Wednesday. So let's do it, ready? 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're gonna put 15 right here. What color should be next? We have an AB pattern which is A, B, A, B, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange. We have yellow, orange, yellow is gonna go here. So we have our yellow 15, and we did our counting on strategy to get there. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna write our daily journal. Let me move on over. It's like magic. All right, let's start with our first sentence. My name is, you're gonna write your name there if you're really good at writing your first name, which you should be by now. Uh, you're gonna add your last name also. Today is Wednesday. Don't forget to put those periods at the ends of our sentences. Today is April 15th, 2020. The weather is, I want you to write in your weather here, I will do my best. You are all doing a really nice job trying your hardest and doing your best and it's really showing in the work that I'm getting. Awesome. All right, then you're gonna write a sentence with our two words for today. Our two words for today are you, Y-O-U, you, play, P-L-A-Y, play. You can write a question instead of just a statement. So a statement tells somebody something, but a question asks a question. So you can say, do you want to play with me? That would be a question you can ask using our words, you and play. Then you're gonna draw a picture of whatever sentence you come up with. All right, our letter today is the letter G. It's g, g, g for goat. That's the sound that it makes. Letter G makes a sound g. It also is like gorilla. All right, we're gonna write our letter G. We're gonna start with our uppercase G. We are gonna start at the top line. We make a big curve all the way to the bottom line, back to the middle line, and then you do a little line in. Awesome. Our lowercase g, we start on the middle line. We do a little circle to the bottom. And then we're going to take our marker and we're going to go all the way below that bottom line. So we started in the middle and then we went below our bottom line for that lowercase g. All right, now that we wrote our letters, we're gonna go ahead and read some words. Help me out. G, a, t, got. G, e, t, get. G, a, b, gab. To gab means to talk. Now we're gonna look at some G words that have the O sound in them. So it's our long O sound. So when we see an O and a W together, it makes the O say its name. So let's go ahead and sound it out. G, O, O, glow, good. This is one of our sight words that we practiced in class. G, O spells go. G, R, O, grow. Awesome job, boys and girls. All right, now it's time for us to do some math. Our first step in math is to always read our problem and then we're gonna think about what we know and we're gonna think about what we need to find out, okay? So our question today, Mrs. Swain has six eggs. She wants to pass out the eggs to two of her friends equally. Before we get to the question, let's think about the problem and what we know. 
Mrs. Swain has six eggs. So we know she has six eggs. She wants to pass out the eggs. So she's gonna give away her eggs. She's gonna pass them to two friends. And she wants to do it equally. In order to know what we need to do, we have to talk about the word equally. The word equal means the same as. So if we want uh, her to pass them out equally, that means that the two friends need to have the same number of eggs for it to be fair, right? We wanna make sure that we're sharing fairly. All right, now our question. How many eggs does each friend get? So she's gonna pass out her eggs to two friends and they get the same number. How much do they get? All right, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna do this one with our manipulatives. Okay, so right now we have Mrs. Swain's eggs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We know she has six eggs. These are the bowls for her two friends. We have one, two. So there's two bowls for two friends. Now we have to uh, give out the eggs equally. Remember that means it has to be fair. So if I give one person an egg, I need to make sure the other person has one egg also. So let's go ahead and keep doing that until we run out of eggs. Okay, now that I'm out of eggs, how many eggs are in each bowl? Each person has one, two, three eggs. So this person has three eggs and this person has three eggs. Is it fair? Is it equal? Are they the same? Yes. Okay, so Mrs. Swain shared her six eggs with her two friends. So those are her two friends. And each person had how many eggs? Let's go ahead and do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. I made sure to draw all six eggs and each person got one, two, three. Okay, so this person got three eggs, this person got three eggs. And all together, they had six. All right, awesome job. We're gonna go over Wednesday's goals. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna write your daily journal like always. Um, you're gonna write your high frequency words five times each. Your words are you, Y-O-U, and play, P-L-A-Y-E. You're gonna count and draw your math problem. Miss, uh, Mrs. Swain's gonna have some eggs and you're gonna have to pass them out equally. Remember, equally means the same as. So make sure that everyone has the same number. All right, and then PE this week, we're doing some yoga. We're practicing our breathing and our stretching and our exercising. And then we, I want you to go ahead and go on to ReadWorks. Um, I have some more water cycle stories for you on there and happy numbers to practice your math, boys and girls. All right, have a wonderful Wednesday. Awesome possum, I'll see you tomorrow.